just getting the ball in the strike zone. I mean, we, you know, we really need to get the ball up and in the zone, and, um, and we did that well today, and the guys squared some balls up, so it was, it was good. I think the, the big, I, I, I'll say the biggest uh, player of the game was the back pick. Bases loaded. I mean, K-Bear and, and Dom, you know, with the back pick, uh, stopped the big inning for us. So um, then we came out, so we're going to bat. Uh, we started to see Joey hit about a week or two ago. Uh, now you're starting to see a little more power, the doubles, down, pulling the ball more. Is this like a natural progression? For yeah, seeing? yeah. The big, you know, the big, he's working really hard on getting, getting his foot down, getting ready on time, being a little bit earlier hitting the ball out front uh, a, a lot better. Um, so um, he's not getting getting beat as often. So, you know, that's a great sign. So um, today he squared some balls up. And, uh, you know, like you said, Mark, I mean, he was able to pull the ball a little bit better. Last year he did a really good job elevating breaking pitches, off-speed pitches. This year he's had a lot of trouble with that. Um, so how encouraging was it today to see him do that twice? No, was, I mean, it, like I said, it, it's good, but he, you know, he's putting the time with, with Darnell and Six in the cage, trying to get ready earlier. I mean, that, that's the key. When you should get ready early, he can get the balls out front, especially the breaking balls. Um, today was a good day for him. Joey came up last year. Everything just happened so fast for him. So how have you seen him deal with more of a slow start to the season to get to where he is now? Oh, he's, been, he's, he's been good. Like I said, he hasn't changed anything. His routine's been good. Um, he understands where, where he needs to be, and he, he's worked really hard to get there. So... Uh, I'm, I'm really glad he's starting to see the results. Go ahead. Uh, CJ's home came on pitch the letters. Is that the sign that you do? That, yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, look, we worked really hard with him just getting on top of the baseball, um, getting ready earlier again. Um, and this, this, whole, this whole weekend, he's really conscious about hitting the top half of the ball, uh, still being able to drive the ball and get the ball up in the air, which is great. You know? So um, he's doing, right, doing it the right way right now, and it's, it's awesome to see him catch up the ball up elevated uh, the way he did. So what's the discussion when he forgets how many outs there are? Uh, we were, I told him. I said, "Hey, you got to pay pay attention to what's going on every pitch, every you know." So, I reminded him like I, when I was playing. I mean, we all after every out, we just held up a finger, and it's a reminder to you, really, not just to your teammates. But um, I said, "You got to do that." I said, "That's a big that's that's a big moment, you know, to turn two right there." You got to think about Patrick Corbin, you know, um, the pitch count. Uh, but you got to stay focused in the game and. He was good. I mean, he you know he he accepts it and he he holds himself accountable. Um, hopefully, we won't see it again. So, for you, they're still out there in the field, and you're still you got to be stewing about that play a little bit. I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, is there any consideration to to sit him down there? No, I mean, because you know, ultimately, I, I could probably say, hey, we'll sit him tomorrow, but look. You know, He's young, and we got to, you know, this is part of the process with these guys. So um, you, you think about it, you know, but, hey, he was still in the game, and we need him to catch the baseball for Corbin. Um, so, you know, something that we talked, I talked to him right after it happened. Everybody else talked to him right after it happened. It just, it cannot happen. I mean, it, you know, it, you know, we miss, you know, he, we didn't miss a double play. Next thing you know, a big inning occurs. Then it becomes a big, big problem, you know, so. Um, there was no harm done. You know, Patrick got out of the inning, um, but it was addressed. And hopefully, like I said, if it happens again, then 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 it's a, it's a different conversation. He had opening day. Obviously, the struggles defensively. Spoke up about it. You know, like he knew what was going on and was much better after that. Do you sense, based on these conversations, and things that he is good? At, you know, even if he makes some mental mistakes, that he is good at flipping the switch and, and not letting that kind of linger and look at the way he played the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. No, he play, I mean, he, like I said, it, it doesn't affect him. I think if I was to not talk to him about it or talk to him in a different tone, it might, might affect him. Um, but, you know, I try to explain to him what happened, what needs to transpire the next time it does happen, um, and how we can avoid it happening again. I think, and I think he appreciates that more than me saying, hey, you're going to go sit, go take a shower, you know. Um, I never had to talk to him again about running the bases. I mean, he goes around, touches first base. You know, we had that that conversation too. So, um, and he knows. You know, I, I can only tolerate so much. I mean, they all do. And then, you know, if, if it continues to happen, then it becomes a problem for them. The conversation when he comes off the field, do you approach him? Does he approach you? How does that? Start? No, I, I, I let him. I let him walk up. You know, and, and then I said, I'll talk to him about it and, and understand. And like I said, um, and it was a moment where he was actually, you know. Two batters away from going up there to hit, uh, but I, I need to. I needed to 
to relay the message and be very clear about it. And um, and then I told him, hey, go up there, go up there and hit a double. How's that? And he was, he said, okay. Get Carl in there in sort of a lower leverage spot. Was that important for you to try and get him sort of back on track? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, I had a conversation with him about you know pitching with conviction. Um, today was much better. Um, he was throwing you know in the mid 90s. That's that's what we're used to seeing. So um, it was re really good to him. I want to get him back out there and and uh, and just get him like like I said, just attack the strike zone. You know, um, I think that's that was a big issue. Is that you know he, he got a little bit. Um, sidetracked about just hitting spots. That's not who he is. He, he elevates his cutter. He throws the ball hard as hard as he can. His curveball, I said, you're mixing your curveball. He threw a really nice curveball. I think he fooled everybody. Um, and his changeup's really good. So today today was way better. So I, I'm happy that, um, I'm happy that you know, I got him out there and uh, he, looked, he looked really good. How have you seen Corbin be effective at limiting walks? He's attacking the strike zone. You know, what, what I'd like to, you know, he's using his change-ups very, very effectively, and I think it's helping him because now they can't just sit on the balls in. Um, you know, so it's helping his slider, it's helping his fastball. You know, when he, when he throws it in, his two-seamer. Um, so, you know, there's a, that's another weapon that he has that they have to be aware of.